morning everyone if you've seen my last videos you know i've been collecting rambo knives now the only one i don't have is the last blood one here in the uk you can't buy a signature copy or you can't even buy a cheap copy all the sites seem to have sold out so what i've decided to do is start replacing my copies with a bit better one uh, so the postman's been today and it's just delivered me a signature edition of the first blood part two knife as you can see it's got the writing on the blade and some writing stamped just above there so nice box gold writing quite hot in the sun as you can see well packaged and there it is the, the official copy uh, I believe the, the guy who designed it, James Buell Lyle, sadly died in 1991. He was known as the Arkansas Knivesmith. Uh, he designed both both knives for, for, for Rambo 1 and Rambo 2. This is uh, 1985, I believe. He made uh, 100 for the film. These are very rare and can fetch silly prices, I believe up, up to £20,000. So this one cost me, I think, just under 30 and this one was under £200. So that's as high as I can afford to go. I don't intend to go any further. Uh, I'll compare the sheets as well. The sheet's a lot better on this one. I have to bite it with my teeth. Just hold on. Organised kiosk. There we go, there's the official sheath as well. Comes with a sharpener. It's got the signature embodied in there and the Rambo as well. I don't know if you can see it in this light. So when you compare like for like, apart from the signature obviously, there's not a great deal of difference. Obviously they're, they're not going to be used in the field, but uh, if I feel the weight of them, I would say the copy is slightly heavier. I don't know if that means it's been made with an inferior metal or not. I'm not a, a knife expert or a blacksmith, but uh, it definitely feels a little different. So that's what I'm going to start to do. This is the two. I'm going to save my little pennies up and go for the one. And then hopefully in the not too distant future, the, the last blood version comes out somewhere. Uh, I do have my, my partner going to New York in December so I don't know what the legality is of bringing one over so I might try and get one from there and have her bring it back in a suitcase so there you go from a very very sunny September in Scotland bye for now